Here's 20 window shortcuts for saving a bunch of time, being more productive, or just interesting. And no, I'm not talking about Control c or V, so let's begin. First up is Alt Escape. This is similar to Alt Tab you're probably familiar with using, but is a bit more efficient. When pressed, you instantly cycle through your open windows without having to hold and let go again. Super useful for quick app launching. Next is Windows plus V. I'm sure you've had those moments when you've got something copied, but then copied something else by mistake. With this shortcut, you can view your clipboard history and paste as needed. Windows plus the period key will bring up the emoji picker. I see a lot of people just using punctuation to get a smiley face, but if you want the right emoji, then you have to use this picker. It's quite useful for organization or even simple things like note taking. The next one is to do with launching apps in the taskbar. Instead of heading over to the icon and clicking it, pressing the Windows key and any number will open the corresponding app in that position. This one is a big time saver, but people don't seem to use it enough. Next up is Windows plus H. This will bring up the dictation menu at the top of the screen and will allow you to convert what you say into text. It's pretty accurate and useful for those who find this text input method easier. Though many of you might know this one, I still see people using print screen for screenshots. Using Windows plus Shift plus S will let you take a screenshot of a specific area and copy it to your clipboard. There are other options in here too for taking screenshots. On the topic of taking screenshots, if you just want to take a full page screenshot and quickly share it without using Windows plus Shift plus S, use Alt Print Screen instead. This is different to the regular Windows Print Screen shortcut, so this doesn't save it to your PC, but directly copies it to your clipboard instead for you to paste as needed. Quite handy. Okay, so there are two similar ones in here together. Firstly, Windows plus G will open the Xbox game bar from which you can record your screen, monitor your PC usage and some other options. If you want to start recording from wherever you are though without going into this menu, Windows plus Alt plus R will immediately start recording of your screen at any point. I think it's a good free built-in screen recorder which will be just fine for most people. Next up, for the gamers out there, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, pressing ALT and then R will display an NVIDIA overlay displaying your CPU and GPU usage at any time alongside some other information. It's super lightweight and can be toggled on and off quickly on the fly. Sometimes you need to quickly get to the task manager in order to stop a process or app. Instead of opening the task manager in your taskbar or through search, use Control shift escape to open it. It's quite useful for when you are full screen in the game for example. Heading into File Explorer, instead of right clicking and then pressing properties for lots of files, if you press Alt and Enter, you can quickly get to the properties menu and see all the details that you need. If you use the arrow keys efficiently, you can quickly scan through and see details of the files very quickly. You often see people spamming the Ctrl Z key in a document but not many people seem to know about or use Ctrl Y in order to redo. So now, instead of pressing the redo button in the top right hand corner of applications, you now know a quicker, more efficient way without having to drag your mouse cursor around. This one is simple but very useful. Instead of right clicking the file explorer icon to open a new window, just press the Windows E shortcut instead. Really handy when you've got a lot of file explorer windows open in the taskbar. As you can see here, I probably went a bit overboard because my file explorer itself started to crash on me. Nice. Similarly, if you press the Windows and then the I key, you can open the settings very quickly. It's one of those which can save some time occasionally, as most of us don't exactly have the settings app ready in sight and Windows search just doesn't work half the time. Next up is Windows plus M. It's something a lot of people don't seem to use when they could really make use of it. If you have loads of windows open, don't go around minimizing everything one by one, but instead just press Windows and M. Everything in sight gets minimized. Talking about managing windows properly, pressing the Windows and Home key will minimize everything apart from the active window. It's similar to that little window shape trick with your cursor that you can do, but something you're much more likely to use. Now I touched on it in the previous point, but the Home and N keys is something that can be quite useful. Instead of endlessly scrolling or spamming the Page Up key, Pressing home will take you to the top of a page, while end will take you to the bottom with a single button press. Windows A is next, which opens the action center. 
This will save you time if you are someone who opens Action Center a lot to check notifications or toggle other quick settings. Similarly, instead of heading into the settings to manage your connected devices, you can instead press the Windows and K key to quickly open up the Connect menu from the Action Center. Here, you are able to connect to your known devices easily. Now you might use Alt Tab quite a lot, but Windows Tab will allow you to get to the Task View menu. On laptops, you can swipe up with three fingers to evoke this, but on a desktop, this shortcut is a must instead of having to press the button in the taskbar. So those are 20 keyboard shortcuts that you need to start using right now, all covered. Let me know if you think I missed any super important ones. Other than that, hope you found this video valuable, and if you did, please consider subscribing. See you later, and thanks for watching.